Alpha pretty much gives us everything we need in order to get this done. So um, just looking at this from the table point of view, so I'm using Alpha's UX component that you can download for this annotation uh, demonstration and um, the table that they suggest. So I just created that and I added another field called background image and I just dropped in a couple of, of image, uh, just the just the names of the image. I'm going to pick those up from the uh, from the uh, disk. And so um, that's the table. And now back in the component, I've just taken a, a data bound image control and I've dropped it on here to show that that's the image that we're looking at. Now those images are going to have to be sized appropriately, the same way that the body image is sized um, correctly for the uh, the space that it's taking up. These images that I've dropped in are, are, are not, but uh, they'll show you that uh, they are being used. And so let's just go and have a look at this, I guess, first. So there's the image that I'm using. You can see that we're only picking up part of the sky because uh, the image isn't, isn't sized properly. So again, that would have to be done. If we go next, we're going to pick up the koala. Now on a new record, uh, nothing will show up because there's no image on a new record. So you'd have to take care of that and display either uh, well, do something. Display a default image or do something like that. But you can see that this is picking up the image that's associated with the record and it's using it here. And uh, actually, if I think if I click new record, I'll get the last record that was actually set. Yep, that's, uh, that's the case. So I can do that. And I can, uh, I can do that. Of course, nothing will be set here as well, so it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm not updating that uh, image field at all. I'll just submit that. But that is being picked up because that's the last one that was set for that div. So let's go and have a look to see how uh, how we did this now. Um, I guess what we'll do first is have a look at how this is actually being rendered. So if we look at the image, we see that there are uh, two spots that are uh, the image is being used. One's for the canvas and one's for the uh, the image itself. So here we've got um, the annotation field and the background image is being used here. So we've got a div ID that we can use and all we need to do is set the background image uh, CSS for that. So that's not an issue. Um, a, a, a slightly bigger problem was when we actually use the canvas and we want to set it because um, it, the canvas has a, an ID but its style is set within another div inside of it which does not have an ID. So we have to go after, uh, there's only one uh, well I'm going to assume that the uh, the style is going to be the first child of this of this div and that's where we have to set the uh, the background image for this. And uh, so if we go and have a look at the code, the code that we're going to be using is going to be on the client side and it's going to be on the uh, after populate from table event. So we're going to go and grab the current image. Uh, we're going to do a get value on that. So that's our field that we're going to get our value from. And then we're going to do, um, we're going to set, um, grab the ID, which is the annotation and the annotation uh, canvas div. We're going to do a style background image for the URL, and that's how you set that up. Move this over a bit. And the um, for the canvas div, uh, we're going to grab the first child and then set its style background to the same URL. So that seems to work out quite well. So I'll just take that and copy it and paste it into the uh, form message. And that should be it. Thanks for watching.